Good morning and welcome again. I'm Father John Barker, the vicar of the parish of All Saints Harrow Weald in the Diocese of London. Uh, we live stream our worship sometimes from church and sometimes from the vicarage and sometimes elsewhere if I'm out and about. Today we are live streaming um, prayer during the day and my apologies if anybody listened to me yesterday. Yes, I did say it would be evening prayer today but in fact tomorrow I've got lots of meetings during the day and so we will say evening prayer tomorrow and uh, Fridays we normally say prayer during the day so we're switching around just for this week. One thing which um, Covid has taught us, it's taught us a lot of things actually, but one is we must be flexible. Uh, where we worship, how we worship, when we worship. The most important is that we do worship God. And so at around 11.30 UK time, I invite you to join us. We'll say prayer during the day. And as we pray, prepare for worship, here is Cantando Ensemble, my favourite ladies' choir from my previous parish of Buxted and Hadlow Down, singing True Cuts. True Colours. The message is very clear in that uh, song that we need to respect ourselves and believe in ourselves and that includes giving thanks to God for all of his gifts to us. And now on this Thursday, it's late morning in England, I know people tune in and follow from all over the world, some live and some uh, following up later in the day, whatever time it is in your day, let's take some moments and pray together. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. 
Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. We can say our opening prayer uh, responsorially. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from your chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save us and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, Make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Our day psalm 133. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Behold how good and pleasant it is to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down upon the beard, even on Aaron's beard, running down upon the collar of his clothing. It is like the dew of Hermon, running down upon the hills of Zion. For there the Lord has promised his blessing, even life for evermore. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Grant to your people, good Lord, the spirit of unity, that they may dwell together in your love, and so bear the world the ointment of your healing and the dew of your blessing. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our Bible reading today is from the book of Deuteronomy, some verses from the 15th chapter. If there is among you anyone in need, a member of your community in any of your towns within the that the Lord your God is giving you. Do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted towards your needy neighbour. You should rather open your hand, willingly lending enough to meet the need, whatever it may be. Give liberally and be ungrudging when you do so. For on this account the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in all that you undertake. Since there will never cease to be some in need on the earth, I therefore command you, open your hand to the poor and needy neighbour in your land. Jesus said, I am the gate for the sheep. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Let's just pause for a moment and reflect on these words from our reading today. That they're not from the New Testament. They were written at the time when the um, the children of Israel were moving to uh, the Promised Land. And yet, even though that makes it some two, three thousand years since they were written, they are just as relevant for us today as they were then. For those of us living in the UK we will have varying opinions depending on our 
our politics and our personal thoughts about the decision of the government yesterday not to extend provision of free meals uh, in the coming school holidays and I'm not going to get into that debate. That's nothing to do with our worship this morning. But the reality is that there are children who in these coming days and weeks are going to be hungry, who are not going to be getting the food that they would normally get provided for them at school. The writer of Deuteronomy is writing to us, if there is among you anyone in need, do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted. Rather, we should open our hands, lending enough to meet the need. It's not the government's responsibility. We should thank God that Marcus Rashford is being so active in raising awareness of the reality. The responsibility is common. It is ours. And so let us pray that we might respond to the words of Deuteronomy and open our hands to the poor and needy neighbours that we have in our lands. Amen. And now let us pray. Our day prayers. Dear loving Heavenly Father, as we worship you this morning, we pray for all of those who are less fortunate than we are. And so we begin by giving you thanks for all of our gifts, for the homes in which we live, for the food which we can eat whenever we wish, for the clothes that we wear, light clothes in summer, heavy clothes in winter, the clothes that are in our wardrobes and we never get round to wearing. We thank you that we have families who when we're in trouble we can turn to. We thank you that we have friends that we can share our happiness with and share our worries with. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we thank you for all that we have, we now turn our prayers to those who do not have sufficient to meet their needs. We pray for those who are cold when it is winter because they can't heat their houses. We pray for those who are cold in winter because they don't have the right clothes to wear. We pray the, for the those who are cold in winter because they do not have homes to live in. Lord, may we who have sufficient remember those who are needy and do what we are able to help them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, as we give you thanks that we have food to eat, we pray for those for whom food is not something which is always there. We pray for those for whom food is something which is difficult to obtain and not always there in sufficiency. Lord, help us to either help them directly or to help those charities which will be there to help those in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we give you thanks for our health and for the contentment that we feel in our lives, we pray for those who are sick in body, mind and spirit. We pray for those affected by coronavirus. For those who work tirelessly to care for them. And for those who cannot look after themselves. We pray for those working to find better treatments and vaccines. Lord, inspire them and give them strength to keep going. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray for those who we know and love who have particularly need of your presence with them and your support and the confidence that only you can give. We pray for those in our congregation who are waiting for operations that will relieve their pain. We, will, we pray for those who are waiting for
for scans that will remove the uncertainty within which they are living at this time. We pray for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones. Lord, all of us have different needs. May we feel your peace surrounding us. May that peace give us the courage to keep going and the grace to serve you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, we remember those who are no longer with us, those who we've known and loved. We thank you that we had the privilege to know them, to love them, to be loved by them, to learn from them. We pray that their rest with you may be eternal and that we may show all that we have learned from them in the way that we live our lives. And now we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Our collect for day prayer. O gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you, through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. May God kindle in us the fire of love. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us for worship this morning, wherever you are. I pray that the rest of your day may be happy and blessed. You may be noticed that the sun keeps showing its face and shining through the vicarage window and lightens the, uh, the background behind me as we worship. I pray that your day may be sunny, whether or not the sun is shining. I pray that God may kindle in us the fire of his love. If what I said this morning has challenged you and you're wondering how you might be able to react, then I would urge you to recall the words of our collect where we pray for God to give us wisdom, diligence, patience, sight, an open heart, a willing life. All of it comes through the power of the Spirit and altogether gives us strength to care for others, especially those who are less, less blessed than we are. So, wherever you are, I pray that your day will be wonderful, and I invite you to join us for worship again tomorrow, and as I said, it will be in the evening, evening prayer at 6 o'clock UK time. And as we close our uh, worship, let's go back to the beautiful choir of Andando Ensemble, if I can find their uh, music. Yes, their wonderful Irish blessing. The Cantando Ensemble singing the Irish blessing.